Hey, this is Ryan Daniel Moran. My website's Freedom Fast Lane, where we work with entrepreneurs, help them scale, teach them how to invest, and help them grow their business. And today I wanna to talk to you about something that I think most entrepreneurs neglect, and I think they leave a lot of profit and growth on the table as a result of neglecting this. And this is simply working on building your own controllable audience and channel. What this would look like is, really I'd just like to ask the question of, where can you push a button and be in front of your customers? Where can you push a button and be in front of future customers or prospects, leads? A lot of business owners go straight for the channel. They go straight for where the buyers are already hanging out. For example, if you're selling physical products on the internet, you would naturally go over to amazon.com and optimize there. And that's exactly what you should do when you're starting out. That's exactly what you should do until you're profitable enough to go out and spend the money necessary in order to build up your own leads and customers. But it seems like in most of the entrepreneurial conversations that we have, that the conversation just stops there. It becomes about how do we test and tweak and improve that. If you're in retail, it's all about how do we shove more products into retail. If you're on Amazon, how do we shove more products there or test and tweak that? What's the latest trick for making more money there? Those are all relevant questions and we should ask them when we're starting. But as soon as we've got profit, as soon as we have the ability to go out and generate our own customers, that's really how we become independent and bulletproof as a company. That's really how you can start sleeping better at night because you're not worried about it all collapsing and going away. No matter how much money you make or how big your business gets, I'm yet to meet an entrepreneur that was a one trick pony and didn't have a secret fear of it all going away. And as a result, they like to hide that fear under acting like a workaholic. But really being a workaholic is just usually a fear of it all going away or a disguise for having a lack of priorities. But that's a conversation for another day. The solution for all of this, the way that you get real security is to have the ability to control your own leads and customers. So where are you advertising right now? Are you collecting their data? Are you going after your existing customers? And are you creating some sort of a process to bring them into your fold so that you can email them so that they see your Facebook posts? And I like to create a rule of three out of this. If someone sees you in three spots, then you've got a fan. It's kind of like if you go to work every day and you see the guy next to you, it's just your coworker, right? But if after work you go and have a beer, now it's your coworker that you sometimes have a beer with. But if they come over and watch football on Sunday, now they're a friend because they've seen you in three spots, at work, at the bar or the restaurant, and then at your house. The rule of three is when somebody is psychologically bound to you. It's no different with your customers. But most entrepreneurs only focus on having their customers see them at the checkout, whether it's at retail or Amazon or wherever it is that they're, they're taking the order. But what about the rest of the process? Do you wanna make a sale or do you want to have a profitable business? Because those are completely different conversations. If it's about how do we make a sale, you know, then we get lost in that world of, tweaking and asking and extracting, and that has its place. But where you develop long-term security, where you build up a customer base that will buy from you forever, no matter where you are, they choose you, they want you, not just because you rank in Google or you rank on Amazon or because you had a good commercial, they choose you because they're a fan. They choose you because they are bonded to you psychologically. So some of you are taking orders right now. Some of you are making sales of a product or a service. How are you interacting with those customers afterwards to get them to follow up with the rest of the things that you're doing? Are you retargeting them? Are you emailing them? Are you getting them to follow you on social media pages? Those are the places that we really build up fans. That's the place where we turn customers into fans and that is also how we will bring in new leads and new blood into our business. If your business right now is focused mostly on a channel, then you're probably competing with a bunch of other people for shelf space or web space or ranking space and it becomes a game of who can 
outdo the next guy. But if you're going out and getting new leads, then you're actually making the pie bigger. And that's when you have what I call a breakthrough business. That's when nobody else can compete with you. That's when you're bulletproof. That's when you can scale. When you can go out and put out an ad and bring them into a process and then convert them into a customer and then bring that customer into being a raving fan of yours and you can duplicate that process, that is when you are truly bulletproof. That is truly when you are scalable. That's when you're a breakthrough business. That is when you're free and you can sleep well at night. So if you're taking sales, if you're building a business, are you scaling that outside of your primary sales model? Are you scaling that outside of the place you're typically collecting orders? If not, it's time to think a lot bigger. Thanks for watching this training.